Hello everybody and welcome back to Pokemon Ash Grape. You can already hear it flagging, can you? Don't worry that light goes away. See, it's practically gone already. So over here we have the Meridian City Gym, but it's pretty much guarded. This comes in place later on. Anyway, we are pretty much on the episode Ash Catches a Pokemon, so. We are an event Pokemon. So let's go into our first event Pokemon. By heading up here. Right through here. Note. Make sure you have to post that the first grass you step into will always be Ashes Caterpie. Yes. The first grass you step into will be Ashes Caterpie. I don't plan on messing this up. I'm just going to throw a Pokemon in it just like Ash did in the anime. Because Caterpie is top. It's just a Pokemon. No weakening, no nothing. Of course, unlike the anime, this one can fight back. That is really annoying though. Hold on, let me see what I can do. Alright, let's get back into this. Oh, for the love of God, don't tell this thing. I'm gonna try to see as close to the enemy as possible. Good. I'm not even gonna risk another one because I have a really big way of getting critical hits. For now, Ash, here you go. Capture Caterpie. One, two, three, and that's it. You have captured your Caterpie, Ash. Caterpie's data was added to the public. Caterpie. Caterpie's not exactly that strong. As you'll see. He's just an ordinary Caterpie at this point in time, but. This Caterpie has... I don't know if he's applied it to all Caterpies, but I know for sure it has a different moveset when it levels up, so you can't expect an ordinary Confusion Butterfree. In fact, it's much worse than that. Confusion Butterfree's are awesome. This one is so bad early on. You'll see as I play through. But yeah, Caterpie is really, really bad as you play through early on. But as it, but as it pass, time passes on, Caterpie becomes beat. The way it's supposed to go is that other path I didn't take. But the reason I'm taking this path, holy crap, level 7 GG. Wow, this hack has really changed. And yeah, the reason I didn't really know about this is because... I was playing version 2.5 and then I had to repatch it. This was 3.0 and then I repatched it like oh come on. Then I repatched 3.0 from the glitches to 3.16. So Yeah, that's pretty much where I am right now, the latest beta. Oh no para hacks. Especially with all the stupid sun attacks. Come on, end it already, Pikachu. Just one accurate hit. Of course not. Oh, if the emulator wasn't so lag, they'd probably already end this one. End him! End him, Pikachu! The sake of your life depends on it! it okay, okay. You know what? This is really annoying here. This is really, really, really annoying, so. I'm gonna switch back into Caterpie. And then I'm gonna switch back out. Then I'm gonna switch back out to Pikachu. So all those sun attacks are gone. Doesn't even affect it. So I can get one accurate. I know he would have tackled me after that. And there you can see Pikachu's lack of defense. The thing that has been killing Pikachu over the years. 
And the reason I don't consider it a good Pokemon. I mean, he's pretty good for early game, but... And his attacks can pretty much leave the enemy pretty beaten up. I mean, his attack strength ain't bad, but... What's going on? The attack ain't bad, but what's going on what he has running for him? Which is mainly his speed? Being honest here, yeah. he's not exactly that good of a Pokemon. If his only really good trait is his speed, it makes him pretty much weak. Cut at his speed though. Well, there are certain things you can't get with this. There are certain things that can't be exactly repeated at, like the anime. Unfortunately, this scrap is going to take forever. I'm already up on 5 minutes. Not like it matters. This episode was only 7 minutes. This episode should be a lot longer. Now first you want to get out of this tall grass, go down here, and grab this potion. Then you want to go out and heal because Pikachu is pretty much a Pikachu. He's weak. <coughs> and this time you run into another Weedle. This one's a Weedle. This time Cactus should be able to take it out, no problem as well. But of course, whenever I say that, problems begin. Let me just pow. Oh my god, it didn't poison. Hmm. I'm gonna count my checkers before, before they have to know this game works. You also know that running at 82% isn't really good enough. <sighs> my SP boots are so annoying to make. I mean, the game is amazing, but when recording, Lag lags about lags. Sometimes badly, sometimes just like this. The lag isn't too bad, but the audio jumping and so makes it kind of really, really horrible to listen to from a viewer point. So yeah. But as you can see it only happens in battles. I mean seriously, why lag in battles? Or when I run, to be honest. And if you go to a Pokemon Center or anything like that, the lag is gone. Now anyway, we'll heal once more. We're getting up pretty close to 10 minutes here, but that's not much for what I plan on doing. There's still, I plan on completing the episode Ash Catches a Pokemon. And possibly, Challenge of the Samurai as well. Now I really want to get Caterpie to level 6 real soon. I might be saying, but why? One simple reason. I want to be as close to the anime as possible. I can't do that with Caterpie only at level 5. Do I plan on doing it? Why did the chain get away? Come on. This battle is really annoying. I'm not talking about only the lag. I'm talking about the... The Weedle Jigs. All over my therapy. Anyway, that's not much. We're just getting really close to about 10 minutes now. Just about 5 and a half minutes in. And there we go, Caterpie's now level 6. Now, here's what I'm going to do. <coughs> I'm just saying, Caterpie's too weak than Pikachu. So, why are you switching him off? For a simple reason. Now, don't be saying, oh, it's a Kakuna, you can fight it. Metapod did one thing in this game that you would hate. 
cocoons fight back. Yes, it means you can skip catching a weed or a caterpie if you actually want to just do the game as a game. But for one, someone like me, who just likes to catch Pokemon, as they are, nah, I don't work for me. It just makes it a little bit harder to raise Pokemon in the forest. Anyway, you can find a Pokeball here you now. Here's what you, now here's another event. Coming up real soon. Now here, this is not an event. No. <clears throat> the last thing Ash did on Ash catches a Pokemon was to capture his Pidgeotto. And that's what this company needs to do. Usually I've leveled up Pikachu so that it knows Thunder Wave, but I'm feeling a little gutsy right now. I'm feeling a little gutsy right now, so. Let's go Pikachu. And in this last grass, we meet the bad boy of Ash's team early on. Unlike the anime where Pidgeotto was pretty much useless. And I don't joke when I say that. Nice, they got power hacks. Unlike the anime where Pidgeotto was pretty much useless early on. All you have to do is paralyze it and throw Pokemon. But Pidgeotto is pretty much one of the best Pokemon you can have. Early game. Oh, come on. Don't be like that, Pidgeotto. Stay in the Pokeball. And don't abuse my defense. I know that's what you're doing with your physical attacks, you know. Just stay in the Pokeball like a nice Pidgeotto. Yay! Pidgeotto was caught. Pidgeotto Vita was added to the Pokedex. It's armed with sharp claws and dives from the sky. It, it is armed with sharp claws and dives from the sky to capture its prey. It is more dangerous than the gentle Pidgey. That is my Dexter voice. Anyway, we just completed it. So, you think what are we gonna do now? Well, what do you think? Continue on. Now we have one trainer to face here. You might be saying, why are we going so far along? Well, we're not even, we haven't even reached 15 minutes yet, so. I want to make all my videos at least 15 minutes long. Whoa, you're pretty strong. Go Pidgeotto. Wow, he's paralyzed, yes. But that doesn't stop him from having gust attack. How oh, for uh, Weedle to behave stupidly around him. Pidgeotto is dust. I have to realize this Pidgeotto is beast. It's on the level and evolved. It's on the level and evolved. It's pretty much Faulkner in gold and silver. And you'll be saying it's just level 9. So it shouldn't be too hard. But when you're facing anything like level 10, 9, and lower, it can be a pain to kill. Unless you have a GD. And even then, it can still be a pain. Nice job. My battling skills are no better than my sense of direction. Wow. That girl over there was really helpful. She didn't know where I was first, but I felt like I had so much more energy after I talked to her. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, talk to her. This is such a big promise. I could use a bit. How about you? Ah, much better. All refreshed. <clears throat> now, this is what's going to happen once you step up into this grass. <laughs> so we meet again. We're here to get your Pokemon. Hand over the Pikachu. The Pikachu is exceedingly rare. Its power surpasses its evolutionary level. Hand it over prepare to fight. They should have said their motto. But hey, what can we say? Team Rocket Cohorts would like to battle. 
They send out this time it's a double battle. Yes, Ekans and Coughing. The reason you want to have Pikachu on top of all. Now, you might be saying, who what's going on? This is exactly where Caterpie is supposed to evolve. I don't know if he has enough EXP on him. But to be honest, the Pokemon you should take up first, no matter what, is that Coughing. It is much stronger. It is much more dangerous. You see? Way more dangerous than thing. So hopefully you just can finish off coughing really fast. That is bad. That is really bad. I mean just you can do the worst defense ever. And you go and do that? Oh boy, we can do poison. As you can tell, in this battle it's really difficult. It sounds pretty difficult as it is. So this attack I'm hoping finishes off popping. Because if it doesn't we're in trouble. Darn. Oh god no. You might go anywhere I'm worried about leers, but Pikachu's just awful. Yeah, and Coffin goes down. Awesome. And that's what we wanted off of Caterpie. So now we can concentrate on taking down Echoes. I think that's Pikachu done. Your picture is so done. Hmm. Oh, that's the wrong one switching. And I will switch over to Pidgeotto. Now, as you can tell, this Ekans is really annoying. And pretty strong too. And Caterpie, just keep on doing what you're doing. Oh, and if you're wondering why Misty isn't alongside us, well, I don't think he's, I think he's going to do that in a later patch. He's also going to make Pikachu walk behind us as well. I think he'll actually try that. Try to do those later. But right now, yeah, we're pretty much traveling alone. Here we go, Pikachu to level 8. I learned Thunder Wave. And Pikachu to also do the level 8. Anyway, that's Team Rocket. Team Rocket squatted again. What? Caterpie is evolving? Just like in the anime? He evolves right? After defeating Team Rocket. And this is the end of the episode Ash Catches a Pokemon. So he pretty much completed Ash Catches a Pokemon in one video. It's time to it's time to see what last of all. I may have won this one, but we'll be back. I have the Team Rockets blasting off again! There we go. Heal up our Pokemon. And next time on Pokemon Ash Gray, we head on out. We head on to the next episode Challenger of the Samurai.